Hello, good morning. God bless you. Thank you for joining. God, as I was meditating this morning, it came to my mind to say to everyone that don't worry, God is there for you. God is our rock. God is our foundation. The sea is going to be turbulent at times. Life is going to be turbulent. It's going to have its ups and down, the waves, the highs and the lows. But stay a steady course by just keeping your foot planted in the Word of God. God told me this morning, he said, Matthew 6, 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So whatever you're fretting, whatever you're worrying, whatever you need, be at peace. Trust God. God will supply and honestly, honestly, I read my Holy Bible this morning, but my soul is stirring. I got, I'm dealing with a lot of issues right now. Uh, my truck's been down for three days. I own a landscaping company, so I'm getting behind the pressure zone. And it's like, can it get any worse? Yes, it can. It can get worse. But... In situations like this, we have to stay calm. We have to stay at peace. We have to really trust God. And today I prayed, I said, God, teach me to trust you more. And, you know, when we ask God sometimes for things to teach us, it doesn't always come out the way we like. I said, teach me how to have more faith. And then if you really want more faith, if you want more faith so that you can say unto this mountain, be thou removed uh, and be thou cast in the sea, the only way to do it is by building our faith in God. And we build our faith in God by reading the Holy Bible. In Romans chapter 10, so 10, verse 17, it tells us, So then faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing by the word of God. So that's the way our faith is built. And that's why it's so very, very, very important to read the Holy Bible, to meditate on it, also to retemorize script, scriptures. You know, like John 10, 10. I'm come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so that you can always be ready at a moment's notice to share the Word of God. But before I do... I would like for you to join me, if you would, please get your Holy Bible and go to Psalms 23, and I'll wait for you for a moment, and let's read together Psalms 23, because I feel like if anybody's like me right now, they just need to take a deep breath in and just chill and just trust, okay? I hope you're there. Psalms 23, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, Matthew 6, He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I have more than enough. Surely goodness and mercy shall, shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If we just stay put, stay put, trust in God, and keep praying, God can do the miraculous, miraculous, miraculous. Pray without ceasing is what the Holy Bible teaches in the New Testament. Pray without ceasing. Be a prayer warrior and don't give up. And God bless you. And thank you for being with me today. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for helping me. 
share the word. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.